Hello Virgo, welcome to Cupid Empress 1111. Um, if you're uh, back, welcome and I appreciate you. If you are new, um, I also welcome you to my channel and also I want to encourage you guys to please hit the subscribe button, also share my content, comment down below and like. If you're looking at me through Facebook, same thing guys, please share my content um, and also like and comment. I want to urge you to guys comment that way I know that Whatever I'm doing here is resonating with some of you, okay? If not, it's okay. Just let it go to the universe. Only thing I ask is for my content to be shared so that it can reach those a collective of people that do need to hear this message, okay? And do need this guidance. So, moving forward with your reading. On the Monology cards, we got Take Time to Breathe Out. And Have Faith in Your Dreams. So... What I'm seeing here in the reading, the, the three major arcanas you got was the devil, the emperor, and the and the hangman here. So the devil energy means there's been patterns, um, some endings, some toxicities that maybe have been occurring here. Emperor energy. And the hangman, meaning looking at things under a new perspective. You're in the, this is Aries major arcana. You could be dealing with an Aries. However, I also do see here that you guys also may be dealing, you know, in, in that emperor mode of like discipline, um, of like, you know, going in with a structure on things, you know, um, because I do see here that you've had a lot going on. So moving in with the first card of the reading is you're in the Queen of Wands energy. So, you know, you're you're being very passionate about what you're doing. You have had a lot on your shoulders, though. Ten of Wands is very tired energy. So you guys are very have been very tired. Um, some of you are in a field of study. You know, you're going to school with something. Um, you did get the Hierophant signifying, you know, a facility you know it could be like a school it could be you know business as well you know but i do see you guys like studying and like, getting the energy more of like this collective that i'm reading to are like people that are like, on, are like in school or like going for like a field of study okay um with the high priestess here you're following your intuition there could be things coming your way that perhaps maybe you don't see as well I see here is you're you're trying to reach you know your goal. You're still moving forward, fighting for what you believe, fighting for for what you're going for here. So again, you know, I see you in that very in that very lit fiery energy. You know, on the four of pentacles, you're holding on. However, I do see here that um, at the same time that you're in school and that you're moving forward with things, I do see here like money being tight. You know, like situations being tight for you. So. I do see that. Or perhaps maybe you guys have been saving money as well. You know, you guys have been in like the saving mode. But I see more as like situations have been tight, you know, with movement forward, you know, with your studies and things like that. Um, however, I do see here like a beginning in love. Like you guys are wanting to move forward to because the, the Ace of Cups is the Ace of Love. So I do see here like overflowing love or it could be also on a field of study that you love, that you are actually passionate about in, in doing. You're definitely manifesting very Virgo and Gemini vibe here. You could be you could be dealing with a Gemini or have Gemini in your chart. But um you have, you know, all the tools here to move forward to do what you need to do. And here is Six of Wands. So Six of Wands is victory. You're wanting victory in whatever is whatever your endeavors are. Okay. Um, also had take time to rest because you guys aren't very tired. You guys are very tired. So take time to rest. Okay. You guys are ending cycles or thinking of ending cycles and starting new cycles, you know, but also like we trying to reach the world on what you want to do. I do see here soulmate coming in. See with that ace of cups here in the beginning, this is like soulmate energy, two of cups. Someone that you find very beautiful that you're wanting to move towards. This is somebody that um, is very pretty or very good looking if it's a guy. Um, and is sitting well. You know, you see them well with their pentacles. You know, somebody that's, you know, comfortable. However, I do see here um, 
reflection of an of a five of cups and a fool so like wanting to start over but perhaps maybe because there's you guys have been crying over something like something something hasn't gone your way or hasn't gone right and you're like super in your head about it with the eight of uh, swords here so going into the other deck of cards that I pulled out here we have the strength so you guys have been tired you know maybe lacking the strength of like moving forward with all the obstacles and things you guys have had so definitely yeah like the two of wands is like that waiting energy you're kind of like tired of you know of the struggle of like waiting for like things to finally come in you know over you know planting seeds that you want to see grow with the seven of pentacles here um things have been a little out of balance for you of course with that tired energy it's been hard for you to kind of balance your way forward and needing to make decisions on things I do see here, you know, you're waiting for your ships to come in. So again, that, that, you know, that waiting energy of, oh my gosh, I don't want to wait anymore. Like, I can't wait for like, this is to be, this to be over. So like, you can get some balance in your life again. Um, definitely something that with the lovers here, um, reversed, I see here, like either two people went their own way or there was a, yeah, there was a decision here made with this two of swords of going separate ways. Is what I see here over beginnings that didn't flourish over hidden secrets perhaps you know with that high priestess there you know what I mean there's been like hidden things um, about a cycle that you don't want it to end because with the death here reverse is something you're not you're not wanting endings on you know you are guarded you know definitely coming in in a guard uh, mode with again a lot on your back you know there's been a lot of burdens burdens here and i do see that devil there is indicating to me like perhaps betrayals or or something with an ending that is supposed to happen but you don't want to let go so you guys are not wanting to close cycles is what i'm seeing here and unfortunately sometimes in life you have to do that in order to be able to move forward if it means walking away from things that don't serve you then maybe that's what you need to do. But I do see here like a passionate or wanting to go towards a new soul, a soulmate. A soulmate, a twin flame. Maybe wanting to start a new cycle with that person. Wanting to move forward towards that. There's somebody here that you guys find very beautiful that you wanting to move forward towards. Oh, actually, you know what? After the eight of swords, we got the seven of swords. So yeah, there was perhaps some kind of betrayal some kind of betrayal is what I see here of some sort and you guys are wanting to move you know aside from all of like the schooling and all of that and all of the new things you guys the endeavors like financially that you guys want to want to move towards there's also been very draining things and I think that you guys are are wanting to move forward to something new it's interesting because it's not giving me it's not giving me like the the scenario that that happens I don't know if this is like a new person or if this is like the same person that there was there wasn't there was if you guys are, are with someone in which you guys are refusing for for it to end for things to end because there's a queen of wands here too so i mean i don't see another person here per, per se but you know what it could be that perhaps some of you guys are wanting to go towards a new a new person trying to leave this queen of wands behind that can also be another scenario as well because we do have a queen of wands here so, or it just could be that you're with somebody in which you guys have had a lot of, you guys, you refuse to let go of, and you're wanting to move forward with, you're wanting to start over, like a reconciliation, you know, between you two. So that, that can also be a scenario as well. So different things match different people, and I'm getting like two or three different energies here. So don't stop. Spirit says, ask your angels 
perfect timing romance see so you're getting like there's definitely like romance coming in and happy big changes so yeah this could also be a reconciliation that you're reconciling with someone perhaps um and you're refusing to close cycles here with that ten of swords and the death reverse but there's definitely been like a whole lot of burdens it's been tough and then you guys are also engaging in like new endeavors as far as like the financial career well uh, realm so i do see that it's been kind of like burdensome for you it could be you guys also split ways with this person and you guys are coming back reconciling with each other or somebody that you've been with that you have been thinking on splitting ways with but not wanting to so it's it's one of those scenarios is what i'm seeing i'm sorry i'm getting like financial realm and then two different love possibilities here two different situations here so Choose whichever one resonates with you guys. If it doesn't, again, leave it to the universe. It's fine. Um, but that's what that's what spirit is feeding me here. Um, so thank you so very much for tapping into your energies today. It was a pleasure to read for you. And I will see you guys back again for the month of July. Okay? Bye.